Hi everybody, so in video 1707 we looked at pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is where you heat something in the absence of oxygen. When you do that a couple of things happen. The first things that happen is that any lightweight stuff in there boils off. The second thing that happens is it can break down. Now in 1710 we looked at that boiling off process. So in 1707 we just turned it all into gas and lit it. In 1710, we made sure that the liquids could go back to being a liquid and they created as methanol because we used oak. This is what does that. This is a condenser coil. It's hanging out in the air and it's cold. The hot gas comes, any liquid will then condense and drip into a container. Now, the scientific method is pyrolysis. That's what we're actually doing. But when we put it in a specific example like this, and we do that, it's called dry distillation. So we dry distilled this. But there is something else we can do, and that's called destructive distillation. When there are no volatiles to boil off, the thing will bubble away in there and break down until there are some that will boil off then we can cool them and we can collect them. So remember, dry distillation and destructive distillation are both applications of pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the basic heat something without oxygen. Dry distillation is where you just collect any volatiles that might have been in there. Destructive distillation is there are no volatiles, it breaks down until there are and you can collect it in there. Now you find a lot of volatile stuffs in organic compounds, in biomass, because they produce it naturally as part of their life and it still sits there even though we chop it down. Destructive distillation is something that we can use to turn plastic into fuel. These things are apparently the curse of our modern age along with plastic forks and spoons and cups and straws. The bulk of these disposable carrier bags are made from a plastic called HDPE. HDPE is one of the most produced plastics. It's all over the place. It's in milk bottles, it's in carrier bags, it's in food packaging. It's just everywhere. The great thing about this is in destructive distillation, this will break down to leave absolutely nothing and the whole plastic is then turned into a fuel and we can pass it through this and collect it and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, if you remember in the other processes that we did, we just stuffed this can full of wood. The first time we used pine because we wanted gas, the second time we used oak because we wanted methanol. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We stuffed this can with a plastic bag. Now, this seriously isn't anything more than a paint can with some plumbing fittings. I did the build in 1707, I did this modification in 1710. This is just a bit of microbore copper called around a sewage pipe. There's our bags in our tin can. Close them up, apply some heat, and give it a bit of time. So you can do this with all kinds of things. Actually, you can do it with tyres as well. But HDP is particularly good because it leaves no residue. Styrene's work well. Any kind of plastic this will happen with because the plastic has no water in it to be driven off and no volatiles, so it cooks down to a goo and then it begins to break up and then it begins to distill. And so at the end of the process, this is what you get. It's still quite warm and when it cools down, it'll go thicker and waxier. And a lot of people have actually done this on the internet, but I wanted to do it in context with pyrolysis and dry and destructive distillation. And if we burn that, we should get it to light. It's a bit stubborn. But there we go. We've got it to light with a very sooty, smoky flame because it's still quite heavy and more akin to diesel than it is to methanol or ethanol. Anyway, that's how you go around doing destructive distillation. Oh, I did have to wrap the tin in an awful lot of blanket. This is fire blanket. Uh, insulation, rock wall insulation. Keep the heat in to get that to actually work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.